Hello guys, my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and welcome to another Sign 3D Studios Max tutorial for beginner. And today I will uh, I'm I'm gonna be teaching you how to use a ray trace and understanding ray trace. Alright, so today we're gonna create a simple, actually very simple uh, animation. Actually not animation, just a uh, footage by creating a plan. So you're gonna go to um, create uh, geometry and make sure it's standard primitives and plan and you're gonna click in, in this perspective view right here just plan uh, with a uh, segments you're gonna bring it up by the way to show the segments we're gonna right click on the perspective and choose the edge faces so we're gonna see the segments um, 15 or so and then actually make it more 35 Alright, and then you're gonna click on T part and make sure the auto grid is checked and to create a T part and also the segments so it will be smooth. Alright, so select and move, you're gonna move it just like that and rotate it actually just like that. A little bit up. You're gonna create a T part in the water so it's just like some song is, you know. Deep out on the water. It's not funny, actually. All right, so let's deep out on the water. And then, what are we going to do? Can set the camera here first. The next thing we are going to do is go to. Uh, you're gonna press M. We're gonna go to here. The one that looks like a, a four ball here that says material editor. Or you just can simply press M on your keyboard so it will show the materials. Alright, so click on one of them and then you're gonna <coughs> go to. Um, I'm gonna set this. We're gonna create a uh, material for the water actually. So I'm gonna create this water specular level up a little bit because water is actually kind of glossy. A little bit, just a little bit. Soften it and go to maps here, and we're gonna check the reflection and the none. We're gonna click it and we're gonna choose ray trace here. Ray trace, all right. So go to parent, or you can go to default, do the same about around. So, re reflection ray trace is actually very good for reflection. So, we're gonna set it around. Well, it's actually water, so set it on 45, and then maybe a refraction also. Click and drag it to the and copy, and set it to about 15, uh, maybe 15, 14. All right, so um, yeah, that's all about it. And actually, we go, <laughs> I forgot to set a bump, so the none to noise. So the bump is nice. So as you can see right here, it's kind of ripple. Create a nice ripple. Okay. So if we drag it to the uh, plane, just click and drag it, or you can click it and make sure the plane is already checked, already picked. And you're gonna click this and uh, assign material to selection, or just click and drag it. All right. So we're gonna set the tiling as you can see right here. It makes more more ripple. So if we render this out, as you can see, it's kind of ripple, just like water. And actually, already give some reflection because of that ray trace plugins. All right. So the second one, we're gonna create material for the uh, teapot. So we're gonna set the color like blue, maybe, and then specular level up a little bit. Oh, what's this? Uh, maybe just like that, something like that, something like that. And go to maps again and reflection, ray trace. Okay, set it to about 49. Maybe to reflection also, set it about 15. 14. Alright, we're gonna click and drag to the T part. And if we render this, it will take a 
a little long time and there you go it's a teapot on the water and you can actually add some lights so go to create lights and make sure it standard lights on me you're gonna place it like in, uh, in the border so it will give a nice look actually more dramatic on the teapot on the water so this is actually a tutorial about the ray trace understanding a ray trace it's actually pretty good so as you can see here pretty good and when the light selected I have almost forgot when the light selected you're gonna go to modify and set the shadows on and the uh, shadow parameters set this to around 75 0.75 makes the light up a little bit actually and if you render this it will be pretty pretty awesome Need a long time to render <laughs> but it will be it will create a very nice look as you can see and you can play with the material actually like the uh, reflection it up a little bit just like that maybe you should render out the um, the teapot actually will give a more nicer look but it will take a longer time to render like that very, very cool actually the water I forgot you actually have to set the opacity down for like 22 maybe, because it's actually water and then the maps maybe up a little bit the red trace also a refraction alright guys so this is a tutorial for um, ray trace understanding ray trace so you can use it for your project actually don't forget to watch the uh, another tutorial of 3d max for beginner so you can understand what are we doing here and there you go actually um, see you in another tutorial on the next tutorial we are going to create scenery using 3d studios max so uh, subscribe and make sure you're gonna check it out but guys thank you for watching and start the entire arts movie and see you around